What's going on, guys? It's Lady B. We had an incredible war just out of EWU for the round three match. But what you're not going to want to miss here are the insane Sui Lalos that we saw out of it. Stay tuned. This is Space Station Gaming versus Alternate Attacks. So alternate attacks definitely showed up this war, and I'm talking about incredible performance, particularly with the Sui Lalos. You got to see the value that they got out of this. Definitely worthy of another video on its own, just for the simple fact that they got huge value with the sacrificial heroes in this. But if you don't believe me, take a look for yourself. And if you want to catch more of these live wars, make sure to head over to my Twitch channel and follow there so you know when I go live, you can turn those notifications on so you get an alert. And don't don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you know when these recap videos drop as well as my strategy guides. But let's take a look in. Bad hold up. We got the first attack coming in. It's coming in from Space Station Gaming John. Looking to take out Yo-Yo here with the Sui Lalo. We have seen a lot of success with Sui Lalo lately. Seems to be creeping up as one of the most common attacks, definitely the most common air attack that we're seeing with really good um, percentage on the hit rates um, for success. So King lining up the pathing here, opening it up for the Ice Golem to sneak his way into that open wall, allowing the Queen to work in, take on the single IT, the AD, and the enemy Queen. Easy pickup value here for her, actually. This is some nice, easy value. No wall breaks needed. Not even, like, not even a, a spell needed, just because that Ice Golem does the tanking, freezes it up long enough to get the value needed. Forces a Queen ability, trying to get through the AT, but can she get the enemy Queen down as well? Now having to use the Freeze to try and hold things off, but a Queen set a little bit too far back. Yeah, and she's not in that radius, so the enemy Queen stays alive, but that's not a big deal. He's still going to Skelly spell. That can help take her out. I do think he wanted that in the value because he's going to have to worry about the RC as well. But we do have the Lalo going. See how he decides to take care of that. We don't see the RC drop. She is dropped here, actually. Coming in, she's going to take on the Queen. So that means the Skelly spell will be used for the RC coming through. Freezing up the Queen, holding it off to get that early push in. I like that he took a couple of minutes kind of to weigh his options there. Think about how he's going to go about it. Gets a big push in here. RC doing solid work. More and more we see the RC actually working inside with these Laloons. Rather than working on the outskirts, actually working inside and picking up some good value. We've got the Skellies down to take down the RC right in that open channel there. Drag that came out of the CC still going strong, but he's lost all his loons. Ooh, he lost everything and didn't even make it to the town hall. Ooh, SSG John, not going to be able to recover from this one. Now, this is a tough go. This was a very, very risky move here, and you can see exactly why, because he doesn't even make it to that town hall. Leaves it on the back end with nothing to actually come in to pick it up. He had the blimp coming through with the loons instead of saving it, coming from the 9 o'clock side. <sighs> yeah, the warden not, not able to work with everything. We've had a lot of issues. Yeah, he chose the pop. So we've had a lot of issues with Warden AI still. Still. But there was nothing, nothing as a backup plan to leave to, in case that town hall didn't go down. Yeah. This is a tough one for Space Station Gaming. Not the way they want to start off this war particularly not against alternate attacks. You're talking about a team that has put up perfect wars against the top clans. Gordon is just incompetent. <laughs> You're not square. You're here. What's going on, Danish dude? Good to see you. Okay, we've got Bone coming in. He can, he can actually take advantage of this and bring in a big, big lead here for alternate attacks. Coming in with a triple will put them two stars up on the board. Chef, that's delicious. Um, so boom coming through with the queen charge hybrid. This is also becoming probably the most, most popular attack that we're seeing right now. One star against ATN, bye bye. Yeah, might be, might be F Prime. What's going on, M Zico? Is boom, come on. Boom, definitely a top hitter here. Oh yeah. Um, 
Homa Kavula, thank you for the sub. Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, thank you. Some sub love in the chat there. Uh, I'll pop a link to the Discord server as well. If you are a sub, you have access to the sub only room and you'll have access to enter to win sub only contests, which I'll post in the sub only room. So queen coming through to take on the scatter shot, the single IT will have access to the enemy queen, having to freeze things up to keep this queen moving along. Did create a nice funnel here. Minion keeping that going along. Taking care of some early cleanup. Big work. And to try and keep this queen moving along and continue to do some solid work, he gets the hybrid going, but also needs to be mindful about the time. Uh, Mado, thank you for the follow. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Big push in for the queen, but he's already used the ability and we see her die out. So there are a couple of healers left over here to help with the hybrid portion. Town Hall just opens up to the miners. He's got a big split here. Unfortunately, it would have been nice to see the queen do a lot more work on this one. But we'll see how much further he can power through. He still has a heal left over to come in, heading towards that scatter shot. See if he gets that path through. Everything converging right in front of it. Is he going to get the split coming in? He does get the split, heading over to the eagle, the scatter shot. RC taking on the scatter shot. Already force the ability enough to get that taken down. Yes, it is. Eagle not quite down yet. Miner's coming in for that. The split worked out really well. Look at all those wizards coming around for the cleanup. 40 seconds left. Last freeze down to give a little extra bump through. And by gosh, she's got it. Giving ATN that two-star lead off the bat. Wobbly Asparagus, thank you for the follow. G. G. Paper says he's cheating. How? How? What's going on, Goku over? I'm streaming again. I am. I shied. He's throwing. <laughs> no, never. Let's see if let's see if we have a couple minutes between the attacks to take a look at that hit. So we've got the Yeti down for the early funneling here. It's good value on that too. Queen comes through. Gets great pathing. That minion helping to clear the way for her here, along with the wizard. It's good work. Coco Loon picking up. The Tesla. And potentially any traps along the way. CC pulls out, gets a wall break in. Let's fast forward through this a little bit quicker. It's going to run out of time. Loon's coming in, trying to keep that queen pathing along here. All did well. Hybrid moves forward. Siege barracks along the outskirts. He had a lot of value out of that siege barracks, I will say. And you see all those wizards left over to help out with the cleanup. Warden doing solid work here. Helping along. But this split, this split here definitely helped. And the RC doing her job inside. What's going on, Hop? Good to see you. You see Shide everywhere? Yeah. He's like a he's like a rash that you can't get rid of. <laughs> I'm I'm so nice to my moderators. So nice to them. What's going on, Lucas? Good to see you. What else have I missed in chat? Shut it, Hoff. What's Hoff doing? You changed your name? Was oh, that's a nice Delta bra. What's going on? Hoping it increases your chances for another gold pass. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Is that how the alg algorithm works? We'll see. Thank you so much for the sub, nice Delta bra. Okay, we got Boone coming in for Space Station Gaming in with the Yeti Witch. Now kicking it off with the Warden Walk, we have the Loon leading the way um, to pick up any potential traps to protect the healers. Doesn't quite get that AT down, but it does also serve as a nice little distraction for that AT, so it's not quite targeting the Grand Warden right off the bat. Gets that entry open. Ooh, look at this big push. We've got the Wall Wrecker leading the way. I'm sorry, I said it was Yeti Witch. It's a Yeti... Yeti, Yeti Witch Bobat? What are we, this, I just call this the Unholy Trinity. That's, that's what this needs to be named. The Unholy Trinity. <sighs> Yetis, witches, and bats, oh my. Powering through with that wall record to lead the way into the town hall chamber. Get a little additional reinforcement of some Yetis coming out of that. It's Night Train, thank you for the follow. But what he needs to see here is a big split 
He'll have the bats that have a fairly narrow path along the outskirts of the base, but he, ideally he would see a split here coming through. They barrel through the center of the base, trying to take on the scatter shots, taking on a lot of heat here along the way. And I mean, it's like a mess of stuff inside this base. Trying to power through, still holding on. Bats come in for that reinforcement. RC forced to use that ability, trying to take out the enemy. RC, look at that. It's a battle that she just could not win because of the skellies on her. Queen was right there on the outside edge. Didn't even help, but she's still holding on to her ability. Step to the bats. Why is he not freezing? He's not freezing up. Those wizard towers. Ooh, he's playing cute here. Thinks that just because they're distracted, he shouldn't freeze them up. But look at that. They get knocked out super quick. He didn't have a lot left over. That single IT still remains, and that's going to be a huge component to worry about. He's got a lot of time left. He's trying to hold on to this queen ability, which he's going to have to force to try and get through. That last freeze goes down. That single IT ultimately going to pose a problem. Look at these silly healers healing up the warden. Again, still holding on to that queen ability. Very smart, because he knows he's going to need it. But what's he going to do about the single IT? Maybe that Yeti with the Yetamites? Uh, Horks, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. 36 seconds. All coming down to this 9 o'clock side of the base. But it's a lot of defenses here. And that single IT is unreachable for the queen. Again, she'll force the ability. Try and get that taken out. 21 seconds. Warden steps in, forces the queen ability to try and work her way through. But she could very likely get targeted here. Is it enough to get it taken down? Is it enough time? Ooh, maybe. Just those archers hold off the distraction. But four seconds left to go. Is it one shot for the hut? She doesn't even have the chance to get that down. That... Ladies and gentlemen, is a broken iPad right there. That OP Builder Hut right there. Right there. Oh my goodness. They needed that triple to try and bring things that back around. And Lynade's OP Builder Hut just holding the defense for him. Yeah, very unlucky on that one. Especially, especially with coming, you know, that close to picking up that triple that they so needed. <sighs> RC unfortunately didn't get as much value as he was hoping for, getting knocked out before taking out the enemy RC. Skelly's holding her up. Let's see, is Sir Ironheart going to try and put one of those last nails in the coffin? I know it's the only, only the second hit, but that one star and followed up by a two star does hurt them. Triple here definitely puts Space Station Gaming in a tough position. Coming in with the Queen Charge Hybrid. We've got the first layer wall break, another wall break layer coming through to get the Queen access to a scatter shot and the Eagle. Opens up that outside chamber. Queen can easily wrap around. Tried forcing that loon down to take on. Um, a, any traps. B. The Archer Tower will see if she actually walks her way in because ideally she'll, w she'll work in to take on the scatter shot and take on the Eagle. Do not want to see her pathing through that middle component. Uh, Godblin, I think it was John. John, unfortunately. Had some issues with the Warden AI. Just staying behind with the minions. So Queen looks like she wants to path out, but she doesn't. She moves back in place to take on the Eagle. A wizard definitely helping out with that. So with that underway, everything done that the Queen needed to do, while well, she'll continue on her path, take on a little bit more, we'll see her die out due to that single IT. But he's able to send in the hybrid portion. Miners need to lead the way to take on that Town Hall, which they do. Warden ability to get everything safely past. RC coming in. Take on the enemy queen, and we have that siege barracks just opening up, unleashing the additional hogs, which are going to work around the outside defenses here. Now, what he does want to see is slew of miners and hogs working in for that very last remaining single IT, and they're going to power through together. He's got the hogs coming back in with that main pack for reinforcement, but what does he have? Ah, uh, there we go. The miners coming in, finally. King was 
doing a beatdown on those poor hogs. Miners finally step up in place to try and take him down. But a bit hung up. 35 seconds left to go. Still has some cleanup down and around. It's this bottom side of the base. He's got to be a little bit worried about and splits from the miners. That won't help. They need to get through these defenses to get this done. And he really needs them pushing through quickly because 20 seconds is not a lot of time when you're worrying about two storages on the back end and still some defenses to worry about. Warden coming through to try and help out. But it's going to be close. I think we're looking at a 98, 97%. Mr. Default, thank you for the follow. Ooh. They're all coming through, but it's moving so slow. Not even a 95%. Not able to get fully past that 3 o'clock side of the base there. Would have been crushed with the RC. AI, same as... IT AI, same as a warden? How is that the same as a warden? Why didn't you use the freeze to save the RC? I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is that this two-star allows maybe a small chance of recovery for Space Station Gaming. It's going to be a tough go. Next attack we see in will have to be a triple if they really want to grasp at it. Bad luck on that one. What's going on, Dark Soul Clash? You're good to see you. Hi, Toothless. Norse of Org. IT targets only RCs. That's it. <laughs> it only ever targets the, the, the RC. Uh, I don't know what happened to people today. Thanks for your CET tweet today. You're welcome. Did I put it on the tweet? I didn't. I did that earlier today. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, we just call that brain damage, Pavu. We just call that brain damage. Okay, Chiku coming in with the queen charge hybrid. For how long have I been playing Clash Horks? Uh, I've been playing for about six years now. Just about six years. Here's 30 miners and hogs, but that RC looks tasty. <laughs> they love, they love the RC. Okay, so Chica coming in with that queen charge. Second layer wall break to get the queen access to the town hall. Uh, we do see those scatter shots on the outskirts of the base. And easily path her back out, potentially. Potentially. We'll see which way she goes. But getting a hybrid moving quickly will shape that up. We see the king lining up the pathing here. Siege barracks will be placed a little bit further down the base. The king trying to line up that initial push here. Very patient, trying to get this queen past the town hall, but also has to contend now with the CC. Oh, this is not a good position. At very least, she's not taking on the heat from the scatter shots. That would do her in. So King forcing the ability. Ice Golem coming in to lead the way for the P.E.K.K.A. And Hybrid coming through. He knows he needs to keep this going. So Queen manages to make it through. We have the Hybrid taking on the one scatter shot. See if the Queen paths back outside this base and around. Ooh, but look at all that damage. Everything taken on. The hybrid. Maybe not a bad thing because this queen is struggling to survive. Barely holding on here. Ooh. Scattershot is down. Queen's going to work around the outside of the base. That's actually a good thing for her. But taking on a lot of damage again. We'll see if she actually survives. Doesn't look like it. So we're going to have to see everything rounding that corner there. But. But. We had a massacre. Hybrid split center of the base. Eagle still remains. Queen manages to come back around. Queen's going to come in to help here. It was a nasty split there. With the eagle still up, that's not what he wants to see. It's going to rain down that damage on those poor unsuspecting miners. As the queen tries to beat her way through this wall. Not enough time to get this done, Chiku. And not enough steam. That really was an unfortunate split there. Solid two star got the two star but they know they need to pick up the trips to try and turn this around not looking like it's gonna happen 
It's Night Rain wants to know if I spend money on this game. Yes. Yes. Especially if you take into account that I stream it. <laughs> I do spend a lot of money on this game. What's going on, uh, Colt Animo? How are you? Long time no see. What have you been up to, Cole? So 83%. It's been a tough go for SSG. That one star, I think, really is shaking them. Was so close that 99% maybe could have t uh, turned around the tides for them, but it doesn't happen. It does not happen for them. So this is a tough one. Tough one for Space Station Gaming. So they are tied up, but alternate attack still has another attack in to tie them up on that. Silent Yawn, what's going on? Uh, Laser, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. She spends a lot of money, but still doesn't max her account. I know, because I spend money on things to stream. Like, that's why. There's ice. I'm, I'm like chewing on ice on my iced coffee. Hi, Arsha. Welcome back. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you. What's going on, Life Kills? Hi, Faisal. Good to see you. How are you today? Do you know the guys from SC? Lady B, can't they let user code activate for more than one week? Um, I do know the guys at SC. It's It has been a request from a lot of us, but I don't know why it doesn't happen. I don't know why. It has not happened yet, but it is a request in from a lot of us. Okay, so Lenade coming in. Lenade bringing the Yeti smash. Warden to lead the way here. We see that as the most common way, though every once in a while, there is a queen walk to lead into it. So a single layer wall break to get the initial entry. We'll see the double layer, uh, double jump coming through to power into the center of the base and right towards that tail end. Wizard doing a great job here, just out of range of the AT. To pick up the funnel needed. Yeah, King gonna have to finish that up. That could be an easy pull for the Yetis. Yeti's gonna power through here. We've got Loons leading the way. Take on the defenses, but also they can potentially pick up some traps for this blimp. And for the healers. Blimp cutting through for the town hall. I love the style of Yeti Smash. And we saw this yesterday on stream where you really use a base that you can section off with the jumps, where you're not quad quaking open, not making a mess of it. Because when it comes down to Yetis, you need to really navigate their pathing for them. Otherwise, you can see nasty splits that do you no favors. Bowler's coming through, staying a little bit further behind, which isn't a bad position because they're able to come in and really power through those last remaining defenses here. Still has to worry about the singles on the back end, but he's got the RC and the Queen ability. Also holding on to an Ice Golem here, which you can time in nicely um, so that when the RC comes in and meets up, Towards the single IT, it can hopefully freeze over that radius. So he's taking on a lot of heat. Not gonna see him really freezing up what he wanted to because of the Tesla farm on the outside. So has to use that freeze, but RC has enough juice to take it down. And this is all a matter of cleanup. Problem is, RC's used her ability. Queen has no ability. He's only got one freeze. Ooh, RC gonna die out here. Unfortunately, there's no healers left over. So despite but having done what he did, not enough to get this down. SSG, gotta say, holding some nice defenses against ATN. Trying to hold them off, but they need to pick up those threes. What's going on, Prox? How are you? I think she spends all her money on makeup and hair. Uh, and that's like me. Uh, we're not even going to go into that. We're not even going to go into that. I haven't seen a hairdresser in a year. You'd be sa you'd be sadly mistaken. I don't actually. Can we can we can we just say this out loud? What's up with that kind of mentality? I'm gonna I'm gonna call that out right now, Prox. What's up with that kind of mentality? Do you say that to other streamers? Do you say that to the male streamers that you think they spend their money on other frivolous things that they're not spending it on? Just just saying it out loud, Prox. 
How can Lene not triple? Um, because of solid defense there from Space Station Gaming. What's going on, Slop Tart? Who can guess how old Lady B is? I've said how old I am. Nice bowler bounces on that expo. You gotta appreciate those. There's only one good splits, and that's banana splits. Yes. Yes. Paul says, all streams I watch, you and Judo, you find that I explain the things best? Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I don't know that I can agree with that. Judo's an absolute beast at explaining things. Okay, so Jethro coming through with the bat wave. Hi, Teko, by the way. What's going on? You do the Lalo? Me? No? I don't Lalo. Lalos and me don't get on. <laughs> Maybe Queen Charge Lalos and sometimes Electron Lalos, but otherwise, Lalos and me don't get on. Look at this. Early RC. Pave the way. Trying to take on that single. Ooh, and it's not enough. Ugh. Now, what do we know about dragons? They do not like single ITs. They roast them. They don't mind the multis. They don't like the singles, but it's very low health right now. So we'll knock it out very quickly. Got the Stone Slammer leading the way from the opposite end, alongside of the Queen. Let's see if you can get some big value with this Queen here, moving along, holding on to that ability. And don't forget that we still have the Bats to come in. Ooh, look at this. Misses out. Ooh, Loon's coming in to take on that single. Pathed around, but he keeps the drags going strong. That Hound, though, holding off things. The Town Hall, it's still yet to go down because the drag is suffering through. He's got nothing to turn back around and get that done. This one dragon, maybe, if it doesn't get targeted by the eagle, one dragon turns around, but it's not enough to get that taken down. It's hanging on by a sliver. Are we gonna see another one star here from Space Station Gaming? Bats are done. Bats got roasted, still got a freeze left. He needs this dragon to turn around, but he's gonna get picked off by the um, expo at RC defending her podium. And this war is done. This war is done and over. Uh, Mohammed, thank you for the follow. Hi, TDH. You hit the space today? Twice in Legend League? Stephanie and Three Mori use it. Who's Three Mori? Yeah, this is a tough one for Space Station Gaming. And this is one of those things where you come in on the town hall directly. The first one, you know, was a bit risky leaving the town hall to the end. But with Jethro coming in on the town hall, the assumption is he's going to get it. That he'll there, There's no way that he's not going to get it. And unfortunately, it just takes a turn for the worse with that hound holding everything off. What's going on, Explicit? How are you? Yeah, it's not like these guys are chumps. Hey, Prox. Uh, thank you for the biddies. Your apologies if that came off bad. You love watching your streams. Your wife spends all my money on, on makeup, hair, clothes, Mercedes, LOL. No, it's okay. I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm just a little bit more, I don't want to say sensitive. I'm just more aware because I have a lot of people coming through making comments like that. So it's not against you, like, personally. It's just in general that, you know, you have females that actually play this game, that stream this game, that work really hard. Um you know, to be up there in the charts. And I don't think that in general, guys realize how, you know, the comments after a while, they just take a toll. Um, so it is something that we have to deal with constantly. So, uh, you know, I appreciate the apologies. Thank you. Um, that's actually a big move to, to say that out loud. So I appreciate it. But I'm kind of of the mindset of just speaking up and not actually, you know, like if it bothers me, I'm gonna say something. I'm not gonna just sit there and ignore it because there's other females that have to deal with the same thing. Okay, Vala coming through. Now, even at this point, if we see two stars coming in from alternate attacks, they've got the win solidified. Stone Slammer coming in. Picks up nice value here with that Sui entry of the Queen. The Stone Slammer is going to tank. Uh, likely coming in for 
this Lalo portion. Queen's still going strong here, waiting for those ice golems to kind of pull out of the way. Still holding on to that ability. I mean, think about the value here. You have a Sui, and your Queen's still alive as you get the Lalo portion going. Looking pretty solid here. Drag moves its way in. Loon's trying to sweep through to take on the Eagle. A lot of traps in there, though, but it's enough to get that taken down. So patient through this and so calculated to pick up the value that he did. And we still have the queen again, holding on to that ability coming through the back end of the base. Now that single IT might do her in, but she's got the ability maybe long enough to hold off to take down the RC. Freezing up the scatter shot to try and spare these loons here. Still has two more freezes and a haste. Queen gonna force the ability, get past that RC, which is gonna limit um, any nasty damage to the loons. But look at this, look at this. The timing of the loons to come in to take on the single. Skelly's coming down to take that on. Holy jeez, Vala absolutely wrecking this. When do you ever see a Sui attack like this where your queen survives to the entire end of the raid? And he's got a huge slew of loons that he could probably start over a new raid with, yeah. Yeah, Sui Queen stays up the whole raid. <laughs> only, only Vala can do that. Only Vala can do that. Uh, let's, let's see if we have time to give that some love. We're going to be heading straight into another war afterwards. Um, but we should have time to look at some of the replays in between as well. Uh, Prim Faya, what's going on? Crimp Fire, yeah, yeah. how many accounts do you have or do you unfollow me every time? <laughs> Thank you for the follow again. <laughs> With that much health as well. I know the, the ability able to be used right to the RC and to spare her from the single IT. The loon's coming in just in the nick of time to take that out. But look at this. This was such smooth sailing for the scatter shot gets right in to take out the stone uh the stone <laughs> so sailing for the stone slammer gets right in to take out the scatter shot there we go there's my words um but those loons sweeping in to take on the eagle that's massive value just with the sui entry and the cc alone so that led for easy pathing for the lalo very narrowed out because of the way it was gutted in that position um but also the damage that would have hit the loons limited so much for that. You keep forgetting your password, so you have to make new accounts each time you watch a stream. So apparently that boom does that too. It's not Suey then? I wh wh what do we call it? The queen survived Lalo? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, how do we even know? He, he's Vala coming in with a queen survived Lalo. He's a beast. Absolute beast there. Family always comes first, not savings. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. That's true. No, I spent, um, I actually, I just, I spend my money on my house um, right now. Right now. I'm going to be working on my patio. Um, I'm installing a patio, a lower patio. Uh, actually, I got to order the, everything tonight. See if it can get it delivered from Home Depot. And I need to buy some power tools. <laughs> so Krona's coming in, looking to take out Vala here. We know this war is won for alternate attacks, but we're gonna see these raids through and see if Kronos can come in and pick up the trip. Did have a close call for Boone, unfortunately, that 99%. It's a tough go. Those one stars really, I think that original one hurting some motivation. I think they've shaken it off at this point. I should have a donation goal set for my patio. <laughs> it's actually not gonna cost that much. I'm doing the work, so the materials are pretty cheap. We got the pack coming through from the siege barracks. Warden lined up a nice funnel, and this actually shows you um, again, I say this all the time. A lot of people ask why you use the warden instead of the queen for the walk component. That's because of the range he can get. And you see he picks up that entire um, quadrant, that 12 that 12 o'clock quadrant there, and guts it out. 
Uh, and that you would need to force a queen through. You'd have to throw in a wall breaker to get her in there. So it's a little bit safer move to use the warden. Plus, he moves easily in with the pathing, usually. Usually. Got the RC moving along with the hogs coming out of the CC. Uh, I'm going with Diego Dama. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Nice barrel through, and I like the funnel that's cut along the outskirts of the base here with that RC. Hogs are going to fizzle out a bit, but the RC perfectly in place to help out with that back end. Single IT, especially holding on to the ability. Cheech, thank you for the follow. It's just a multi that the queen has to worry about, so no biggie for her. Ooh, look at that RC cutting it close. It gets it done. We'll see. Ah, she'll actually survive this cannon. She's going to stay alive. Loon coming in. Take on that cannon on the back end. Ooh, maybe not. <laughs> Nicely, it's a nice position for that black bomb. But Cronus did a great job powering through this one. Does pick up the triple there. Um, and with some time to spare. So Space Station Gaming getting in that three star. You want a screened in patio at your house? Probably a couple thousand for the screened in patio. Yeah, especially if you are, especially if you're paying for labor. But you're talking about like really building, like wood and all that stuff. But if you do it yourself, it's a lot cheaper. That was a great funnel, absolutely great funnel there. Let's take a quick look at that on replay. Yeah, I've been trying to decide if I'm gonna rent power tools or if I'm gonna buy them. But I actually think because I want to do so much work, I want to. I'm gonna be building a fence. Um, I'm actually going to build a small retaining wall with a bench in it. Um, and then some like planter box retaining walls along, uh, the fence in the backyard, just because of the elevation of the ground. I want it looking better and kind of covered up and it makes more sense. So because I want to do all that work, I think it might make more sense to actually buy the tools that I need instead of renting them. Uh, we got a live coming through. We'll take a look at the triples remark about them we can even take a look at some of the mishaps as well if we have some time in between the wars because we're going to be heading into the next one but we got yo-yo coming through to take on Kronos. uh yeah that one's kicking off in just a few minutes but there's some downtime as well ssg wouldn't be able to win even if they're given an extra attack yeah it was a tough go Maybe, maybe if they had been picking up a couple of triples, that one, that second one star definitely hurt them from this. That lost them any chance of recovery. So let's see if Yo-Yo can finish off strong here. Coming through with maybe a Sui Lalo or maybe a Queen survived Lalo. I don't know. What's going on, Josh? Just buy them. Solid investment for the future. Yeah. But we're talking about like a table saw and stuff. <laughs> I, th I think I need a table saw, but I want to build a lot. So look at this nice push in. Good Suey value here. RC and the queen working together solidly. A deal. Thank you for the follow. Look at that strength. Queen just gets through the town hall. He's taken out like 40, over 40% of the base now just with that Suey entry and the blimp. Nice value within that. Huge section of the base just taken down there in one foul swoop. And it's an easy push in for this Lalo portion. Does have to worry about the two scatter shots and the Eagles still. Um, but it's all pretty centralized here. An easy push in, early warden ability to get past that initial bump. We've got the pups taken on, the dragon plus a poison, slowing it down and taking it out. Tornado trap. Almost enough to hold off those loons, but they get back in. Nicely timed and placed freezes. Allow them the pathing needed. And this is absolutely wrecked. Yo-Yo, definitely a beast when it comes to air. And this is how you can see why. Yeah, that, that value was insane. Insane, Shang. So 46 seconds left, no defenses remaining, and it's all a matter of cleanup. And he's spread nicely around here with the minions, um, the pups, and the loons coming through. King obviously holding off a little bit, but he had plenty of time to get this done. Can't wait to, to play these guys on Saturday. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was supposed to sit with Wasp and talk about which... Um, 
which wars I want to cover. Which wars I want to cover. And I think that's one of them. <laughs> you, uh, you, uh, uh, okay, this is going to be on YouTube. I got to be careful what I say. Um, you're going to put on your big boy panties? Put on your, no crying, no crying. Put on your big boy panties. <laughs> board. I was going to tell you to go buy something, but um, no, I'm going I'm to put this on YouTube. So I'm going <laughs> to, got to keep it, got to keep it de decent. Really nice bot. You have prime. Yeah, you apparently have Prime. You used it though. <laughs> okay, so that is a solid finish there for alternate attacks, 13 stars. Uh, they win the war and they held some incredible defenses as well. But...